everyone! Miss R here to talk to you about sketchbooks! Yes! Now, some of you might know what a sketchbook is, and some of you might need to remember or, or a reminder of what a sketchbook is. And some of us be like, Miss R, what is a sketchbook? So, we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to show you all the different options and how Miss R uses them, as well as how you could possibly make your own using office supplies. And then we're gonna have a little conversation after all of that to tell you what we're gonna do with these sketchbooks. So let's get started. Let's take a look at what a sketchbook could look like as well as talk about what they are. So sketchbooks come in a variety of forms. You can either make your own from scratch, you can buy some from the store, you can find a random notebook, whatever it is. The sketchbook is a place for artists to explore materials, explore ideas, make mistakes, come up with an idea, to kind of put a couple like reference photos in, or just, it's just a place to make mistakes. It's a place to learn and to grow as an artist. So the sketchbook I'm showing you right now is a place that I've been using as a place to practice some drawing, play with some paints, and just really work on some things that I really want to work on as an artist. And another sketchbook that I have, it is more, it's used more like a notebook. So I put some of my schoolwork in there. I put some just random sketches in there. I, whenever I'm taking part of a class or a webinar or a discussion or a D and D session, I use it as a place to write some stuff down. Now that we know what a sketchbook is, let's take a look at how to make your very own. First, let's do this one. This one is just made with some copier paper, some sort of stapler. I have a really cool long like book stapler in the classroom and some sort of large tape. I'm using duct tape. First, I'm gonna make sure all the pages are aligned by tapping them together and then I just fold them hamburger style so the sh two short ends will meet and then I rub my fingers up and down the spine that where the fold is a couple times to make sure it's super duper flat. I then grab the stapler, I open the book about halfway, well usually halfway, and with the bookend stapler I can get right into the center of the paper and I just staple the top, the middle, and the bottom. I really want to quickly show you how to use a normal stapler. Um, right now you see like look it, it doesn't fit all the way to the edge. So I go to the long edge of the paper and instead of keeping it straight like that I turn it just a little bit so it's kind of at a diagonal and when doing this all you'd have to do is the top and the, oh goodness I made a mistake. So I'm going to quickly take that out, fix it, again do it at an angle and you would just do this at the top and the bottom of the two sketchbook, you wouldn't have to do the middle one. Then I refold it, flatten it a little bit, and you'll see, ooh, hmm, staples are gonna get caught on stuff. I'm gonna take that roll of tape. I kind of measure it to about the size I need. I tape it down about like hmm, halfway on the tape, on the piece of paper, so then I can fold to the front end. It kind of makes like a cute little book binding element. It's kind of, makes it just look a little cuter. And any little tiny, extra flaps of duct, ta uh, duct tape, I just take some scissors and I just snip it off. And there we go. We have a small little paper sketchbook. Another way we can make a sketchbook is by using yarn as a binder or as a binding instead of a stapler. So this way we'll need our printer paper, we will need a hole punch, we will need a pair of scissors, and the yarn. And just like the stapler one, we'll actually start with the paper folded and we need to make sure that it is all nice and flat. And then we will go and open it back to the center, punch the holes in the bottom and the top making sure that when we punch the hole, it's not really close to the edge, it's close, like we can go as far in as possible, because when it's close to the edge, it can tear out.
and then we will get a piece of yarn about a little over two times the length of the paper just so we have some wiggle room for mistakes. We thread the yarn through both the holes and you can either have it tie on the inside or the outside. I'm gonna have it tie on the outside and you can see when I'm tying it, I hold my finger in the center of where the knot will be and you can either do a bow or you can just do a double knot. When you do a double knot, make sure you then cut off the little extra string but I think I really kinda like that bow look so I'm gonna go with the bow. And there we are, two ways that we will be making sketchbooks in art. Now those are the two ways we'll be making it in class. But if you have these materials at home, like a folder and some metal fasteners, then go ahead and do this method. You just take the pile of paper, leave it completely flat, and punch three holes on one side of it. And then take a old file folder, and you will then punch three holes that line up with the paper putting them all together so the all three holes line up, making sure we can see through them, perfect. You then grab three metal fasteners and I like to go from the back side. So I pick up the sketchbook and start at the very top by pushing one of them through that hole and spreading the fastener out so it's laying flat against the paper. And then I put in the other two. This way is really great so if you need to add more paper to your sketchbook, this is one method. But again, this is just an extra way to make a sketchbook. If you're at home in class, we will be doing the stapler and duct tape or the yarn way. There you go, some sketchbooks. Ta -da! Whoa, sketchbooks are amazing. They're a journal, they are a place to doodle, they're a place to sketch and brainstorm. What a great use of a pad of paper. So what you are gonna do now is go to Schoolology and you will find in our sketchbook folder assignment a little tiny question air to tell me if you are going to completely make your own from office supplies, be it in school or at home, wherever you are. Or if you're gonna go to the store and just get a really simple lined composition notebook or normal notebook or a blank notebook, whichever it is. Or if you are totally okay with going to the store and just like spending the money on a sketchbook, there are some really good sketchbooks you can get just right at Walmart or even any craft store. This one I got that I really, 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 really love. I got online, but these ones are expensive because it's like for my professional artist stuff. But you can find pretty cheap sketchbooks at any store or even just a notebook. Again, you do not you do not need to buy one. That is an option if you and your family are comfortable doing that. Or if like I sometimes just take old notebooks that are from like a class that I only like use like four pages of and I just kind of rip those out and then I just use the rest of the notebook. So you know, recycling an old notebook is okay too. But you are more than welcome to make your very own sketchbook at home or in school. Whichever one you're comfortable with, let me know in the Schoolology questionnaire assignment. Hey, editing Miss Har here, and I just want everyone to know that it's not schoolology, it's schoology. I know I've been saying it wrong, but it, it is schoology, just so you all know. Thing. And then after that, our next art class, we're going to talk about how to decorate the covers. So we'll dive into that into the next video in the next art lesson. Oh, pause. Hold up. So uh, just so you all know, in Schoology, I explain this even more. It might not be the actual next art lesson. It may be today, depending on your choices and depending where you are for art today. So I'll explain that a little bit more in the Schoology folder as well as on the next couple slides that will pop up on the screen. Okay, so I'm so excited to see what kind of choices you make and I'm so excited to see what you put in your sketchbooks. I'll see you later.